today is actually the day that the show went live. So I turn on my TV and it's a Roku TV. And then right on the background is all the House of the Dragon stuff, man. So it really put me in this iconic mood. I feel like the world's yeah. popping off right now. We need to get caught up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We light the way. We light the way. What? what? <laughs> I just found out that if you spell patty with D's, it's a British thing, right? <laughs> I don't know. Please don't make me look ignorant. <laughs> yeah, so basically the intro this time was a test. It's the line of succession. We're supposed to be like, yeah, there goes so-and-so and so-and-so. And he died at the battle with so-and-so. And then, you know, but we do know Aegon. And we do know Aegon had two wives that were sisters, Visenya and Rhaenys. Right. One out of love, one out of duty. Right. We know that the that the uh the sea snake is from an ancient house that left before the doom. Carry on. So this man wants some respect put back on this house. Right. We learned that second sons is a great position to be in. All the power, the responsibility, baby. But we're just sweet little dragons. <laughs> sweet summer dragons, baby. <laughs> There it goes. That's one you didn't want to miss. <laughs> I always wonder, like, is there a purpose in this? Tomorrow, Lady Rhea. Cousin? What's today's quarry? Rabbit? Deer. Oh. Fine challenge. Dangerous. Company? I'd rather ride alone. Good fortune to you. That introverted huntress. Well, I don't need a lord. Look at that narrow path, too. There's a day, Mon. In the way, Mon. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like ways. a nightmare. Husband. That's the goat. Oh, is that the bronze bee? Yeah, <laughs> that's why he calls her that. <laughs> she was like a penny. So have you at last come to consummate our marriage? Oh, the wow. The sheep even. might be willing, oh. even if I'm not. Our sheep are prettier, after all. Somebody's been talking. Or perhaps your brother a has bird. at last had his fill of your company. Cast you aside in favor of a little girl. Blow, blow. What will you do now? <laughs> will you strike the child down? Whoa. She got body slam. They're gonna blame him. Man, that's crazy. He don't even want to help her. He really hates her. Uh uh. He ain't even said one word. Not one. I knew you couldn't finish. Craven. Oh, she shouldn't have said that because he's been having trouble finishing in the bedroom. That triggered him. Craven? No, when she said, I know you couldn't finish. Remember, he couldn't finish earlier in the series? Right, but I thought that's what he called a craving. Someone who couldn't finish. Maybe I'm, I read that so wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I just made that up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Real spaghetti. Sea sickness. What's that guy's name again who just handed on that napkin? Uh, Strong. He had the hand on. The hand of the king now. I didn't even realize that. Who? The guy who just handed the handkerchief. Oh, snap, he does. Oh, yeah, because Otto just got demoted. So here's the oh. new one. That's okay, Lionel what's his name again? That's Lionel Strong. Lionel Strong. This is nice. I do not wish to see you go. Such is the king's decision. A decision I must bitterly regret. And yet you made it possible. You chose Rhaenyra. Because she believed Rhaenyra. Yeah. She swore her innocence. Mm -hmm. And I believed her. You wanted to believe her, as did her father. Your informant was wrong. If you had not been so relentless in advancing Egg on his heir. Dang, man. Listen to me, daughter. The king will die. And if Rhaenyra succeeds him, war will follow. Do you understand? The realm will not accept her. And to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children to the sword. Oof. You know it. Either you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. Oof. Oh, goodness. The politics in this one are going <laughs> hard, bro. They really are. Like, jeez. Look at their armor. Did you see that? High tower sigil. Dang it, Rhaenyra. <laughs> well, basically, her lesson was don't believe Rhaenyra anymore. Ever. <laughs> well, Cost she, you she still does believe Rhaenyra. Like, well, I guess in a sense, Rhaenyra didn't lie. Yeah. I mean, she basically lied, but you know. <laughs> Whoa, that row was crazy. Mm hmm. I don't think we've ever seen this before. Hey, that's Rhaenyra's betrothed. So he's going to go talk to Corliss, I guess? That's his dad. Where is Lord Corliss? Yeah. He should be here to receive the king. Welcome to High Tide, Your Grace. What is the meaning of this, Lady Lena? Is this how House Valarian greets its king? My father has but just returned from his long journey, and he has hastened to the Hall of Nine to await Your Grace's arrival. Borderline disrespectful. Let's just get on with it. Viserys just doesn't want <clears throat> conflict. Right, he's like, whatever. 
Everyone else would have demanded it. <laughs> An outsider among the natives. Lord Laris. Malvales. Rare bloom, indigenous to Bravos. I call that a hibiscus. By all rights, it shouldn't be thriving here. Nature, such mystery. The weather has been lovely. Indeed. And yet it is a dark day for the realm. Peaked your interest, the huh? father mm -hmm. was a good man. As is yours, who took his place. Oh, that's... okay. And so, the manner of your father's departure, I feel something of an injustice. What's to do with the foot? Right. What do you know of the manner of his leaving? When one is never invited to speak, one learns instead to um, observe. You are perhaps in need of an ally? I'm the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Nera, for example. State your purpose, my lord. I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she is unwell. Unwell? I haven't heard anything. Begging your pardon, your grace, I may be mistaken. It's just that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the princess's chambers. Mm. Stirring that tea, man. Mm, tea. Literally. Yeah. That the Grand Maester himself brought. At the direction of the king, as I understand it. Now she don't believe Rhaenyra, man. And she knows the king is lying. Well. Rhaenyra sailed with the king to Driftmark yesterday at daybreak. Oh, what good news. I must have been in error. Oh, Ooh. a relief. See, I thought for Melos himself, that condition must be something very serious. What happiness it is to have been wrong. Yeah, wrong, you say. He's sus. You know, he said that he... Didn't he say he didn't talk a lot or something? He observes. He sure did talk a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> didn't it seem like it? Right. It seemed like he ran that combo. Sorry, ladies. Come, cousin. Let us discover what might be had for breakfast. Oh my gosh, are those skellies? Oh look, this is like house because the boats. Maybe that's like stories or his history or something. That's actually a really cool painting though. Yeah, it is. And then this man's sitting on a chair. I know. Tapping it. Almost like he's impatient. Like you could have met us out front, brother. Yo, Grace. Oh, that's a full bend though. <laughs> that's a full bend. Rise, Lord Corlys. <laughs> May I offer you a chair? Cousin. <laughs> why do I feel like that's so fake? <laughs> yeah, why is she so chipper? Are you well? Very. <laughs> I congratulate you, Lord Lionel. I can think of no man more suited to be the hand of the king. That is very kind of you to say, Lord Corliss. His grace has honored me with the post. Pity about Sir Otto. Despite spending most of my days in Mr. Grandeur of the Red Keep, halls of high tide never fail to impress. High tide. You I love that name. Grace. Though I do wish we could meet under happier pretenses. How so? Damon's wife, the Lady Rhea Royce, has passed. A hunting mishap. She was thrown from her horse. Her neck and skull both crushed in the fall. A most surprising end. Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well That's like my aunt, isn't it? When my aunt got shot Lady Rhea by was that a deer hunter. And a good wife to my brother. Well, Damon didn't Sad shoot her, the horse did. Damon have no I know, but you know, same thing. Her. She stood to inherit Rinstone. Perhaps we can turn to water. Happier pursuits. Thank what you. did you have in mind, Your Grace? I wish to propose a marriage between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. It's long past time our houses were united in blood, the last pillars of old Valyria. You honor both me and my house, Your Grace. There are certain details I would wish clarified before the Princess Rhaenys and I could accept this most generous proposal. What details? We would like to know how the succession will be handled. Rhaenyra is my heir. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. She and Selena's firstborn child, regardless of gender, will inherit the Iron Throne from her. Can I presume that, in keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name, that they would be born Valarians? Man, that's a power sure. move, isn't it? Right. <laughs> you are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter, simply because she is a woman. I only seek clarity, Your Grace. <laughs> Well played, <laughs> Lord Corliss. <laughs> the details. I have a brought in for you. <laughs> Guys, the details of the politics are really, really intense in this one. Can you get that vibe? Yeah. In this one, I, I kind of need to shut up and pay attention to what I'm saying. Right. So sorry if I'm being a little boring. Doesn't this look like <clears throat> the way we set up the boys' bathroom, though? Hell no, it don't. No, like, <laughs> you know. What fantasy you live in? No, in? you know, like, the, the like, Bro, we got, like, the sea vibe. Yeah, we got an anchor and a damn shark <laughs> on the wall. That's about it. I don't know what you're talking about. You got the damn nautical shower curtain. <laughs> you think I'm out there conquering all this treasure? <laughs> Same vibe. It was Hobby Lobby. It was Hoblob. <laughs> Upon their birth, Selena and Renero's children shall take their father's name, Valaria, in keeping 
without traditions. However, at such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Damn. Dragons right. will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the that. next hundred years, just as they did the last. But in about a hundred years, they're dead because Daenerys. He don't know that. I know, but that was crazy. I know. This is an equitable compromise. Good. If there's nothing further. Hey, that's the win by Lord Corlys right there. I know. Yeah, we can renegotiate those terms I'm later. There had to be someone. I'm glad it is you. I know this union is not what you would choose. I hold nothing against your cousin. No, but dare I say it is a matter of taste. I prefer roast duck to goose. <laughs> not say why. He's like, it's not for a lack of trying. <laughs> I know what. There are those who like goose very well. I find it a bit greasy for my taste. <laughs> I know that whatever agreement being struck up there will not change your appetites, nor will it change mine. And what do you propose? That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm, and when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. So basically, have an open marriage. She needs to go eat something, because <laughs> I don't know what's all this dine talk. Wait, where are we going? A diner? Look, you see that artifact? The crab Sarah's face. Mm -hmm. to bed while his ship is readied. That shell's insane. Perhaps That's what I'm I... saying. The bathroom looks like that. Overextended myself. Pushed him too close to the edge. My cousin chose to sail into this tempest, husband. It's undignified of the king to drag himself here and beg for Lenor's hand. Where is Lenor? He and Rhaenyra are walking the coast. Good. Do they seem familiar? They grew up together. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. He's still young. He will outgrow it. <laughs> I no love her hair. pleasure in the world like bedding a woman. We are placing our son in danger. The Lords of the Realm bent the knee to Rhaenyra and swore obeisance to her. That was before there was a true-born prince named Aegon Targaryen. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out for her, her husband, and for their heirs. Our house controls the realm's navy and half its dragons. Anyone fool enough to challenge your nearest claim will be crushed. It's what end, Corlys? Wealth, power, pride? Justice. Right, it is a lot of drama in it. By all rights, you should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. <sighs> you were robbed of the crown I by I never the... wore the crown because the realm would not have it so. And I would remedy that small-minded error by any means necessary. I myself have put the business behind me. He said, nah, man. Be I've this always house. feared the day you'd have to marry a woman. And now it comes. Your betrothed gives you leave of her own free will to continue partaking of. That Rhaenyra will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms and you will be her king consort. That's what they call it. Think king of the consort. tournament. But the feast, the battles at sea. Will you wear your crown today, your brains? You will need a sworn protector. Oh, that's what she meant by the goose and duck talk. What? What's the goose and duck? I guess that she knew he was gay. I don't know. Oh, well, duh. <laughs> you didn't oh. realize that? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Well, this is better than I could have hoped for. She has a paramour of her own. I wonder who it is. Oh, well, there he goes. Sir Kristen Cole. Good sleep for you as well this morning. I needed to see you, Princess. You have confided in me now and then. Over the years of our acquaintance, I feel. Forgive me. I, I know you a bit. I've heard you say so many times how you loathe the lot of your position, that you are to be married off at your father's whim with no thought given to the yearning of your own heart. And now the day comes. Selena is a good and, and decent man for you. You did not choose him. It was chosen for you. That's true. If there were another path, one that led to freedom, would you tread it, Renéo? Before I came here, I was in the Stormlands. I have deep knowledge of the port at Sunspear where I've seen the ships of Essos setting sail with the Man, if he says run off with me, I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> and I've always wished to see where they went. Are you asking for leave? I'm asking you to come with me. <laughs> so you thought he was taking some vacation time? <laughs> From the burdens and indignities of your inheritance, let us leave it all behind and see the world together. Free to go where we like, to love as we like. What if you get stabbed in a random market robbery or something? You could marry me. A marriage for love, not for the crown. What a proposition he just gave her out of nowhere. <laughs> we can go see the world together. <laughs> be poor, be on the run. 
I am the crown. So Kristen. Oh. Oh, I will be. Maybe he didn't take it serious take by that. My duties. Do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to a shy? <laughs> He's it's like, my Nimit. duty <laughs> to marry a noble man from a great house, and Selena will make a fine husband. Well, my um, my marriage does not have to be the end. He's like, so Kristen, what? Selena <laughs> and I have an understanding. I've gone to leave to pursue his own interests. And in turn, he's going to be the same. <laughs> he is not messing with that at all, is he? I know. You want me to be your whole I know, he's like, side piece. What? I want us to continue as we began with you as my sworn protector. Nah, you're going to fade I out, Christian. I took an oath <laughs> as, a, as a knight of, of your king's garden. An oath of chastity. I've broken it. I, I've, I've sold my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. Mm. I thought if we were married, I might be able to restore it. The Iron Throne looms larger than me, larger than anyone in my family. Egan the Conqueror knighted seven kingdoms and put them on a path. So, Kristen. He don't want to hear that. Right, and she can't tell him the real truth. <laughs> right. About how important it is. Because maybe it's something that her dad really believes, but maybe she doesn't that much yet. Yeah, she's still young and naive. She didn't even think that through. <laughs> That man said that uh, that's the biggest honor in his family. Nah, he ain't gonna go for that. That's a life of dishonor and secrecy. But that sucks for him that he was like trying to restore it and he just, he can't. Well, he should have restored it by standing outside that room. He should have said no. Right. I was queuing. Quit playing games with my <laughs> Dude. Get no, get back. Where the crew? We'll need leeches. So, Kristen, you've been summoned. I left the princess just minutes ago. Not the princess, sir. The queen. I would be like, who are you? She just can't have a good day with a baby, can she? <laughs> she's miserable every time she's holding one. Sir Kristen, your grace. That will be all. That will be all. <laughs> I fear I must question you on a, on a delicate matter, Sir Kristen. Got called into the principal's office. I know. Your servant is always my queen. Concerns our dear Princess Rhaenyra. Oh no. He's gonna be like, I don't know how she got out, bro. <laughs> you are her sworn protector and rightly loyal to her. Yeah. The night of Damon's return, there's been a rumor, or rather, my father received an accounting of a lapse of morals that may have occurred between. It is, of course, unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard, but I, I did, however, wonder if I'm not unaware that in the flush of youth there may be errors made. She's being so vague right now, it's stressing me out. Breaches in resolve. Who's she asking about? Breaches or rather lapses. It happened, Your Grace. The sin you allude to. I have committed it. <gasps> oh, you dummy! I, that's what I was thinking. I was like thinking she knew, though, Dude. for some reason. Investigation, it is true, but that should... It is well, when you said it, I got to think him, but... My oath has been broken. Oh. She was going to ask you if Damon was I know, in there. I know, but he just tattled on himself. I deserve no consideration. <sighs> As a clement queen... You are inclined to pity. I would ask only this. Holy crap. That rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. She wasn't even paying attention during that part. She was just like betrayed. She don't even know what to say. Just betrayed. Like her whole family got screwed because she believed Rhaenyra. Ooh. Dude, so her believing Rhaenyra. Okay, so she. Thank you for your honesty, Sir Kristen. Now she feels like an idiot. Yeah, she feels like dumb. He's a goof. He just straight up was like, I did it. <laughs> She's gonna let that slide. That's the thing. Who knows? I'd still, still, still be stressed out. Though. I know he he doesn't even feel free that he told somebody. <laughs> He's gonna be paranoid every second. Because sometimes you'd be cool, and then like thirty minutes later, <clears throat> after you got time to let it sit. Rest now, your grace. I will bring the leeches. If okay. I may, Grand Maester, I took the liberty of preparing a fresh set of herbal poultices that might be more effective. That will not be necessary or while. The leechings have always brought his grace relief. The leechings. That sucks to be the hand. He, it looks like he's there in after hours. He's committed to his craft. Well, I guess he should be the one administering stuff like that to him, just in case someone does something crazy. What did Jamie say? The king poops and the hand wipes? Yep. Ain't that what he said? That line made me rethink power in Game of Thrones. Like yeah. Ooh. I don't like when y'all take concoctions. Will I be remembered as a good king, Lionel? 
Your Grace? Mm. What will they say of me when their histories are written? I have neither fought nor conquered. The king who's no a pushover. A great defeat. Some might call that good fortune. It hardly makes a good song, does it? To be sung at feasts in a hundred years. Five hundred. <laughs> you have carried King Jaehaerys' legacy and kept the realm strong. Is it not better to live in peace than to have songs sung after you are dead? There is a part of me wishes I'd been tested. I often think that in the crucible, I may have been forged a different man. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Many that are tested only wish to have been spared it. Another lord might assure me that I would rise like Egon the Conqueror given the chance. Your grace, that is your right. It is perhaps best not to know. Look, checking the impulses. You saw that? What? You remember how Tyrion used to check Danny's best impulses? Worst impulses? That was one of those moments. Right. That's a really good catch right there, baby. And it's interesting because he was showing a lot of self-awareness of himself right there. So he's not so naive. He's really catching on to who he is. Is that a red dragon? Yeah, that's Dragon the Red right there. No, someone told us there's three different styles, and this is a T-Rex style dragon. It is with great pleasure that his grace King Viserys announces the start of the royal wedding celebrations. That was so House cool. Lannister with their lord, Jason Lannister. Lord Paramount of the West and master of Castle Rock. <laughs> House Hightower, their lord, Robert Hightower. Beacon of the Sun. <laughs> Why does he look so silly to me? Look at her hair. It looks great. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have made a fine match for the princess. Thank you, Lord Jason. I could think of no better man than Selena. If this is only the welcome feast, I admit I cannot imagine what you might have planned for the wedding. Oh, my daughter is the future queen. I wanted this to be a wedding for the histories. She's not wearing that necklace anymore. Where that naming gave her. I had hoped to pay my respects. Maybe because it's just a wedding. I understand the queen is still readying herself for the celebrations. Oh, yeah. This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Love a little sexist joke. <laughs> <laughs> Presence is always such a pleasure, Lord Jason. We're just kidding, guys. I'm not offended by it. Such a pleasure. I thought that was a funny joke. Because your ass would take forever. It's true. Would have put diamonds in my hair like her. It would take me forever. <laughs> Princess Rhaenyra, congratulations are in order. We are very honored to have you as a guest, Gerald. I must say. I was most distressed to hear of the Lady Rhea's tragic passing. I'm very sorry for your loss. Lady Rhea was a unique character. Her kind is not soon to be seen again. If there is anything Damn, that's one way to put it. To aid Damn. House Roy, sort of. Someone's Lord entering. Lord Paulus of House Valarian, <laughs> Lord of the Tides, Master of Driftmark, and his lady wife, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, and their son and heir, Delena Valarian. Hey, y'all rolling in deep, though. <laughs> so much more respect than the Sarah Scott. <laughs> kind of standing up. Yeah, look. <laughs> the king of the high tides. Oh, Sir Kristen wants to punch him in his head. <laughs> My betrothed. My betrothed. That's kind of like them. It kind of mirrors their relationship. Lord Corliss and his wife. Because she's like Targaryen. Right. And Lord Corliss is straight, too. So in a way, it's kind of different. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Super different. <laughs> oh, was he invited? <laughs> Trouble came in. <laughs> <laughs> it's Viserys' face for me. <laughs> Order him out if you ain't happy. He's seen a ghost. <laughs> he gets the add on chair. <laughs> it's a nice chair, too. <laughs> Be welcome. As we join together in celebration, tonight is only its beginning. We honor the crown's oldest and fiercest ally, House Valarian, reaching back to the days of Old Valyria and the Age of Dragons with House Targaryen and ha You all right? Oh, he's seen an angel. He's looking disturbed. Oh no, I don't know what he's looking like. Licking his lips. The king will not be happy. Right in the midst of his speech. Right. Oh, she, she interrupted. interrupted. Yeah, okay. He observed. On the high tower. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Green. Oh. House she just Hightower. rebelled against the king oh. openly. Holy sh. But I feel like Otto does the whole time with his outfit. So she just now is. Does he wear green like that, though? Otto wears green, yeah. 
Yeah, but that's such a. She usually wears blue, doesn't she? she No, she wears blue at the beginning and black. She's been wearing black and red lately. Ooh, you rebellious little thing. Please be seated. Dang. So that he he knows what's up. He felt that. Bro, man, the (laughs) politics in this one. Well, my darling, the joining of the two houses, Your Grace. Yeah. Good job, Mr. Strong. Mm -hmm. Yes. (laughs) He always does that smile. House Targaryen (laughs) and House Valarian united. I hope to herald in a second age of dragons in Westeros. I think that's great. Maybe. And after tonight's small affair, <laughs> seven days of tournament and feasting. A whole week. Mm. The end of it all, a royal wedding. It sounds like an Indian wedding. <laughs> between my daughter. Oh, yeah, they're shouting it like that. Yeah, long. Your future queen and Selena Valarian. Heir to Driftmark. Oh yeah, and I caught that Damon uh, unveiled her in the brothel because he was hoping to get her hand in marriage, but it didn't work. Oh, so he's over there, Jelly. Uh, yeah, he's Jelly Biscuit with a small coffee to go. <laughs> Is this what they were practicing out of the coast? <laughs> what? I know, I feel they're like... <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, guys. Is this is the ceremonial dance when you um. It was married. never much of a dance. It's not much different to combat. Mm. We shall hope for a different outcome. Oh, she's mad as hell. Because she didn't get to do that at her wedding. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The series is the only one like truly really happy right, about he's it. Right, such a hype man, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. He's like, that's my girl. <laughs> like, she's so great. Good grace. We thank you for coming, Uncle. I worried that given leave of your father's shadow, you might wither in King's Landing, son. But you stood tall. Know that Old Town stands with you. Ooh, they were right about that. They calling the banner stuff. Mm-hmm. What if Bert Green just brought out her eyes and she was just down? So she's mad because her dad's out. Her best friend's lying to her. The king's an old idiot, you know, in her mind. And she's not really getting anything out of it. Her life's just sort of ruined. In the Vale, men are made to answer for their crimes. Even Targaryens. He didn't do it. Sir Gerald Royce of Roomstone. He said, who the... I am cousin to your late lady wife. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. I'm positively bereft. Such a tragic accident. You know better than anyone. It was no accident. Are you confessing some guilt, Sir Gerald? I am making an accusation. Why, though? <laughs> you know, in King's Landing, men are made to answer for their slanders. The truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. Wow. What inheritance? Lady Rhea and I had no heirs, as her husband, whatever she was due, now passes to me. She stood to inherit all of Runestone, did she not? Bro, he seems so guilty. I know. <laughs> After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eyrie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. His wife didn't really like Sir Gerald, though. She definitely shook him off. Right, I think it was more of an ego thing about his house. <laughs> he felt tested. This is the second time that he's taken blame for a crime that he kind of didn't do. I mean, unless he did something to the horse, it kind of seems like he scared it, but you can't predict the horse is going to straight Batista your ass like that. No, and then he you smashed know? her with a rock. Oh, well, yeah. That's In her nice. head. Yeah, that's nice. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, he did it. My bad. My bad. Yeah, he's it's terrible. Why are you sticking over it? You over there trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. The horse killed her. The horse snapped her neck in half. She could have died there, but he, he spared her, Loki. Yeah, he spared her. He's a good guy, I think. I don't know. What's this little thing? Her new husband seems nice, though. Yeah, it seems like he's just doing his duty. Has anybody ever told you you're nearly as pretty as your brother? <laughs> My friends, I was sorry to hear about your lady wife. Don't be, I wasn't. <laughs> My lady was never very kind to me. I know who it is. Hmm? The handsome parable. So Kristen Cole. A sworn protector. Look at him. Well, that Targaryen prince. He takes his job serious, bro. He's definitely handed dragon right up. You appear to be every young maiden's dream. That's only because you don't know me yet. I believe Sir Kristen has bloodied that white cloak of his with your bride's maiden hair. I'll keep your voice down. Perhaps that is something we might remedy, Fair Prince. This is a good thing. She knows your secret. And now you know hers. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> He's playing with fire right now, literally. Why is he scheming against him, though? I don't know. I'm at... <laughs> They've been dancing a long time. <laughs> <laughs> 
They make a handsome <laughs> match, don't they? With the princess and Sir Lane. Somebody's gonna hear. Right, I, I don't even know. Sir Joffrey Longworth. Joffrey? But the Knight of Kisses, they call me though. I don't know why. I'm on watch. What's your business? You don't know me, Sir Kristen. No, but we are both deeply invested in this union. If you have something to say, Sir Joffrey, speak it. Sir Lena is quite dear to me, as I know. The princess is to you. We should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. Mm. Because if those are kept safe, and so are we all. Kristen thinks that she told him. Maybe. I don't know, but he d he found out quick, though. He just put it together because he is intuitive, but he's going to think that she told him and betrayed him. They're so off rhythm, right? They saw that. Yeah, you would know. Is she for real? I think she's just calling out how crazy he sounds. <gasps> What is it? Oh, not the Red Wedding 2.0. Oh, whoa, what's happening? What's happening? Seven health is going on. Yeah, what's going on? What? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Christine just slapped her husband. <gasps> oh, that's oh, that's the guy. boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's Joffrey. You got that mad? So Kristen just lost his... Why isn't the king screaming? Why ain't he doing something? Well, I guess he can't really do nothing, but... I feel like, stop or die. Oh. Whoa, 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 we got poison? Dang, that guy just saved Somebody grab the princess. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Kristen don't even realize somebody just snatched the princess up, babe. Who did it? Hey, that's that dude. That well, someone told him to do it. Some guy looked at him and said... Oh, shoot, dude. What are you doing? And you didn't break your hands doing that? Uh, Kristen. Damn, Wolverine. Oh, my God. Her husband is going to be so upset. Mm. Oh, shoot, man. Is he going to have to act like he doesn't care? What you mean? No. Nah. <laughs> And love. We stand here tonight in thanks and praise to join two souls as one. Wow. And they gotta get married right now. Warrior Smith Maiden Crone Stranger Hear now their vows. I am yours. And you're mine. Dang, he sounds depressed. Yeah, that's the same night, dude. The food's still on the table. I know. Dang, Kristen, you're kind of impulsive, bro. In the presence of gods and men. He saw his blood on him. Of House Pilarion, Rhaenyra, of House Targaryen, to be man oh, and no. wife. Oh, no. Kristen. One flesh. One heart. One soul. Now and forever. Sir Kristen. Oh, the Green Queen done stopped him. Princess Fiona done walked in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Viserys. Oh, stop. Oh it's still God. there, the blood, man. There's a rat licking it. Just feeding off the tragedy. Ah, uh -huh. guys, I got chills, man. I got I got chills worse than when I used to read Goosebumps books when I was a kid. Basically, this episode started out pretty confusing. Damon pulled up, saw his bronze, B. <laughs> <laughs> saw his bronze, uh, you know what I'm saying, man, and killed his marriage for duty. <laughs> yeah, and and it was weird to me. I don't know what he did to that horse. 
maybe pulled that hood off, scared the mess out of that horse, and the, <laughs> <laughs> the horse slammed the mess out of her and appeared to break her back. He finished off the job, which was kind of reminiscent of the hound and Arya, because remember, she walked off and left mm, the hound. Yeah. And I was sitting there thinking, like, you can't do that. And then he was doing it, and I was like, here we go, the 2.0. And then, sure enough, he ain't no Arya. That's Daemon Targaryen. He is a Targaryen, not a Stark, so he grabbed a rock at the park <laughs> and bashed her head in with it. So, uh, pretty insane. But, dude, I'm getting into the timeline, babe. What did you think about that episode? I thought it was crazy. I thought the politics are insane. It's Phenomenal. gonna. It's a lot to keep up with, but it's so interesting. Phenomenal, man. Right. I thought it was very interesting. They were hey, the- along with that, though, before you start going there, um, sorry to interrupt you, Didn't- but when it comes to that lady, the veil lady, I think her name was Rhea or something. She the first thing she said when Damon walked up was that their marriage wasn't consummated. And I think it wasn't because they didn't want any heirs because if she was dead, then Damon inherits it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, We get to a really interesting conversation with Otto. Otto basically tells his daughter, by you believing Daenerys, by you, or uh, Rhaenyra, I'm sorry, by you believing Rhaenyra, that was really naive of you to believe her. And he was basically saying, regardless of, if you want to believe her or not, you just have to recognize we're not in a position to believe her in that situation. And I don't really know what to think about Otto yet, man. I, I kind of like his character in a lot of ways. But at the same time, he could totally be snaking for sure. Right. right. That's what's so crazy about this. They could be good or snaky, and we just don't know. <laughs> it seems like there's good and bad on each side. You know? Yeah. And then uh, and then Viserys pulls up. And they don't give him any respect when no. he gets to the, what's it called? The tide. High tides. High tides. The yeah. high tides. And one of the coolest place, one of the coolest places we've met, or we've been to, not met, on this Game of Thrones House of Dragons journey. I thought that place was incredible. Mm-hmm. I thought the road getting in was really interesting. The last thing I really saw that just blew me away like that was Bear Island. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, "What the heck?" Like you've seen all these places in this Bear Island, but there was something really unique about it. And I think that this place was the same. And regardless of what you say, the bathroom was not like ours. That room was really cool. <laughs> it was and so nice. I, I really like how much detail they put into everything. And I like how they're, like, they're just so about their house sigil. Like, every place we go, it's so representative. It's almost like because the house doesn't carry a lot of respect, they're very prideful of it. Because, you know, they feel like they're fighting for everything they can get. But the Targaryens, on the other hand, in a lot of ways, they seem to... They hang on to their name a lot, but they also seem to take it for granted a lot. You mm-hmm. know, like uh, everyone's sort of unhappy with their position, even though their their house is in such a great position and they're in peace times and they haven't been tested, quote unquote, to say right. as Viserys wants to claim that he wanted to be. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things, man. And I, I really love that dialogue between them, too. He, he was saying that he really wished that in his life he would have been tested. Maybe. Right, he just feels like he didn't do enough or something like that. But honestly, I felt like he was tested by not having a male heir with with his wife. Ten tries. Well, there. I mean, you know, Viserys obviously is going to have his own trials and tribulations, but it's just interesting. It really goes to show you the culture of this world and how, you know, you know how we have like a bumper sticker society, like mm-hmm. everyone's beliefs can be summed up on a bumper sticker in some mm-hmm. type of way. You know, that's sort of how this is when it comes to like, Oh, they'll sing songs about you as if, but if you really think about what that means, it just means you're raising hell. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, he was just wondering how he's going to be remembered. And I don't know how he would be remembered, but I guess time right. will tell. But yeah, anyway, just very interesting in that regard. I think there's a lot left in him, I guess. Right. Um, so yeah, what else happens? Then? Well, he, he goes to high tide to propose this marriage and obviously he's not greeted. Um, a lot of that stuff just seemed to me like Lord Corliss might have his own agenda when it comes to maybe competing for the throne. He does maybe. have his own agenda. Everyone has to. Right, right, right. But I, I, I thought by him, um, him trying to convince, um, Viserys to marry Lena, it was kind of like that was where he was having his play. But then when he, when Viserys did the opposite and married Alicent, it seemed like Viserys was in the opposite position, asking for Rhaenyra to marry Lenor. So it was like a power move to me on House Valerion. Well, you know, but if you're the sea snake, right? I don't blame you because if you're the head of your house, it's almost like you have a moral obligation to your family to try to concede as much power as possible given your 
opportunity. Right. Like, given your window. His political slogan to me in that regard felt like he was telling his wife, it's like, because she should have been queen. So it feels like. Yeah, because he wanted to be king. Right. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you should have been queen. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, run that game, baby. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then, you know, him and his wife were having fundamental disagreements in that little scene where they were talking in the show. So that was very interesting. They obviously have two different mindsets right now. And um, he's like, we should get justice for that. And she's like, I'm looking past that. Like, I've already been past that. Like, I, I've moved on. But what I'm saying, if you're not Targaryen, and even if you are Targaryen in a sense, you're basically just subject under the rule of the dragons. Mm. So the only way you're ever going to advance your family from that, I guess that hierarchy is to concede as much power as possible. So going into the show, man, I don't really think conceding power is a bad thing. That's why I'm not really so against Otto. Right. If well, Otto's, House Valerian does ride dragons. Well, yeah, 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 because they came from. Uh, well, Rainus is Targaryen. Right. Also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Also. Yeah. But do you know what I'm saying, though? Like when it comes to the politics, like I, I know everyone thinks Otto is just a schemer and he wants power. But doesn't everyone right. like, in every yeah. sense of the yeah, word? I mean, that's that's kind of the game of the show, huh? Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not everyone does. Honestly, but... though, I don't feel like Sir Chris and Cole does. But well, that's because he's he seems humble, but. He seems like he th- he had made a bad choice. <laughs> well, I think Sir Kristen Cole's living significantly higher than he ever believed he could ascend to. I mean, him becoming basically him ascending into that position is like you said, is so much better than anyone in his family could have ever even dreamed of. So, so I don't you think, think he felt like invincible. So he was just on a high and he just kept riding it until he realized he made a mistake. I don't think he feels invincible. There's two types of people. Some people, and it's a, and it's you know it's not common, but most people who win the lottery go broke. Every once in a while, you win the lottery and you invest well. Yeah. Right. I mean, he made his mistake. He didn't, quote unquote, invest well. He was about to. But he made an epic mistake. (laughs) What I'm saying is him elevating to the position in the Kingsguard was good enough for him. Taking the Iron Throne. I don't even think he he doesn't even have a family to back him up. Right. I just don't think this in the realm of possibility. That's what I was saying. I'm, I'm thinking that he might be the only one that's not like trying to get it in this world. Right. Well, you saw even in Game of Thrones, Littlefinger, like he didn't have a reason to ever become the king, but he was he sure was as hell about to try. He yeah. Was aspiring, that's for sure. But <clears throat> on the subject of Kristen Cole, he he hits Rhaenyra with the hey, we could run away and be lovers or whatever, and she kinda hit him with the I am the crown. Like, don't play with me. You think that just because I'm a girl, we can just run off and I can just forget the duties I have here? Well, I can't because I'm the heir. Well, it was funny because he's sitting there soaking in dishonor and he says we can run away together we can we can leave all all these these um you know we can leave all these concepts behind us so that way we don't have to live with shame we can go be happy we can go love and all that stuff right sounds great and then she looks at him right in his eyes knowing he feels like she should have enough awareness to realize like what he did and then she goes you want me to do something dishonorable like that? <laughs> and then he's basically like, he just freaks out in that he's moment. Like, he's like, yo, we like, did just do something <laughs> dishonorable. Did you forget about it? <laughs> he's like, you're already dishonorable. Like, <laughs> and you just basically dragged me with you. But it's funny because you also sort of see like where Sansa, not Sansa, you see where um, Shay was coming from with Tyrion a little bit. I mean, it's a completely different situation, but when the roles were reversed, when it was him, he was a side piece. He was not feeling that. You know right. what I mean? And so it just shows you why Shay might have been a little upset the way she was. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I can under, I mean, I can understand that. And obviously, the the moment of the episode that just killed me, man, was she calls in Kristen, Allison, Allison calls in Kristen, and goes and very vaguely like the doctor on Family Guy starts. Yes, that's pre- what I was saying. You it was annoying saying? when she was doing that. Okay, but yeah, go ahead. So she's sitting there questioning him, and I'm just sitting there like. Because I'm getting caught up in the fact of, is she wondering, like, I was wondering if she thought that he came into the chambers and he was covering up for them, right? And then I didn't know if he was going to have to admit that, like, she has a secret chamber in her room mm-hmm. and that was going to lead to all this trouble. Yeah. I, you know, and so my mom was going there and then you're like, I forget what you said, but it got me thinking that. Well, it was the she way was suspecting it him. was the reason why is because I put myself in his point of view from that moment. And I just feel like, right. I just feel like he's so paranoid, like after all that. So I feel like he's just sitting there wondering like, oh my gosh. And the way she was coming about it could have been either way. So like I understood that in real time, but I just, I didn't think he was going to just 
flat out confess, bro. I, right. I don't think I've ever just confessed like that. Or right. right. You I would not because. bring him to a bank robbery. That's for <laughs> no, sure. Not at all. He's telling on me. He he is too. He's too. Um, like if he'll, he's he'll go suspect, for the plea deal. He'll go for the plea out. deal. Absolutely. Um. Will. But anyways, he absolutely tattled on himself, tattled on Rhaenyra, and absolutely shook Allison to her core. And to be honest, man, like, I can understand her and Rhaenyra have such a... May okay, so her and Rhaenyra have such a friendship, and Allison and Rhaenyra are both young, naive girls, right? And they don't really understand that, like, as time ebbs and flows forward, those childhood bonds will eventually die and be replaced with, like, more better-lasting bonds that are more built in, like, adult reality, right? And so... They thought they were so ride or die with each other. And so when she didn't tell her the truth about Kristen and just lay all those rumors to bed and just reason with her and tell her exactly what happened, I feel like in that moment, she remembered what her dad said about her offing her kids. And she really had a, a recognize, like she really started thinking like, I'm sitting there thinking I would never lie to you in that sense, even though she did in a sense with the king, right? Yeah. But she's thinking like, if you'll lie to me about something so small that's so consequential to my family, then maybe you will do that to my kids. Right. Do you like, know what I'm trying to say? Like the consequences my dad's talking about might not be so silly. Yeah. And then obviously the king's just getting worse and worse. He's falling apart. And then we get to the wedding, man. Well, uh, not the wedding. It was like the the feast before it, the welcome party or something. Right. And it's before the wedding of course but anyways sir Kristen and um joffrey i guess they he tries to hit him with the hey let's have a um let's have a side piece alliance or whatever like on a like on survivor like on survivor and he's Bro. like he's like let's do that and the guy's like oh shoot you know so i feel like the the crazy thing about this wedding guys was Sir Kristen was annoyed, right? And the fight broke out. But the craziest thing was Viserys was keeping his eye on Rhaenyra and Damon. But the fight broke out at that time. So all of that washes away. And so, like, he never got to, like, have emotion on it. He It got taken away from him. Dude, would Renly in Game of Thrones with this character and this, like, the characters that were gay, their boyfriends... They keep casting them as a character who keeps doing this weird thing where they keep playing with fire. Like this boyfriend, like was up talking all that stuff with Kristen. Like, why are you even talking? Just be quiet. Like it's almost like what he's he's putting his house at risk in a sense. So just be quiet. Yeah, Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? He's just so like pest. Like he he's like a pest in a way. They I just realized they cast both characters to do the exact same thing. Yeah, like because he did favor Loris Tyrell quite a bit. Exactly. Yeah. They were very similar. They can They were both like I don't really know how to describe it, but just a very unique personality. And they like just they were to cast both. Characters. They were pushy in a way. Like uh, yeah, pushy exactly. to be more open about things than and than like the other one was way. willing like to a do. Snarky yeah, way, right. And that ended up costing him his life, which was crazy. Like, Kristen snapped. That man is wild. Like I don't know what to think about this dude. He just straight up snapped. Right. I guess he he really takes his vows that serious. He made that big of a mistake, but and he I I really think the paranoia was getting to him because you saw how honed in he was looking at Rhaenyra. He was just like watching her like a dang hawk. Well, I can understand his frustration when he came up and said that to him. But dude, there's no reason for you to do that. That was insane. Like that was. That was like demonic. Like right. he beat his face in. That was insane. Right. Well, luckily Rhaenyra got to escape and everyone escaped safely except for that guy. But then they have to get married, basically with the guy's blood still in the daggum room. Yeah, it was still splattered on his the head. The food was still yeah, they got married and like they chilled out because everyone wasn't there. But dang, that was insane. Yeah, man, absolutely insane. And uh people are suspicious of Damien. Damien. <laughs> Bro, the names in this one are so much harder in Game of Thrones. Yeah, they're Game of hard. Thrones, they were a lot more. You know what I'm saying? They in didn't this have one, o Owens on right, there right. everything. They're like John, Sam. You know, just really easy, simple. There names. were some good old American names that we know yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're moving on to the next episode. This is the Princess and the Queen. Let's go. Can't wait. The Princess and the Queen. Princess and the Queen. That man just snapped. He saw red for sure. Aegon, he dies. He goes down the street. Then they die. <laughs> then they go down the street. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're going to have to work on what we talk about during this intro. It's kind of tough. <laughs> then someone has hella kids and they go down the street. Hey, that was Damon.
Yeah, I knew that. Keep breathing. And push. One of these headphones will so much detail. I know. I heard crunching and stretching and ripping. Head. Oh, boy, princess, brave mother. Oh, this is the character jump. Yeah, you guys been telling us about the character jump. Oh, the recast. Yes, that's Princess um, Renera. Oh, that's her now. Yes. She had babies. Yes, dude. Kicking like a goat, princess. With that guy. Who? The Lenor. Her husband. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Princess, the queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. She just had it. That's kind of disrespectful, right? They have to yeah, to take... make her walk as soon as she has a baby. Like, they said the, the baby has to be brought to her. Why? Oh. oh. Boy. I've just heard. Yes. Hold on. Where are you going? She wants to see him. Now? I'm coming with you. I should hope so. Let me take him. I should get no such satisfaction from you. Just take my arm at the least. Was it terribly painful? <laughs> oh, God. I took a lance through the shoulder once. My deepest sympathies. I am glad I'm not a woman. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, she's got to go up those stairs. What is it? What is it? Fuck. <laughs> Walk. That is a crazy request. She just oh, she had that want. child. I thought we were past this, princess. Selena, it is a privilege to be amongst the first to congratulate you. Thank you, Lord Caswell. If I may be of any service. The day may yet come, my lord. So Allison's making her carry that baby right now all the way up the stairs? Right, for what? Like, that's so strange. That's so cruel. You're turning back, right? <laughs> Unless you wish to carry me down those fucking stairs. Man, he's, he hung in there, didn't he? Right, they're having babies and stuff. This is absurd. You saw him just fake smile and getting mad on her behalf, though? Princess? Man, Sir Kristen's guarding the queen right now. Probably hanging out in her chambers, wow. too. How the tides have turned. Oh, the recast yeah. of the new queen. You should be resting after your labors. I have no doubt that you would prefer that, Your Grace. Uh -huh. You must sit. There's no need. Nonsense. Does she play in, uh... What happy news this Bates Mattel. Indeed, Your Emma. Grace. Or am I wrong? Huh? Can we pause that and see? Because I, I need to know now. She looks really familiar, does she not? Yeah. I think right. she plays Emma in Base Motel. I thought so too, and that's going to bother me. Olivia Cook. That's her, House of the Dragon. Olivia Cook. Bates Motel. Yes. Yeah, she just came a it long was way. Her. Okay. Well, anyways, we did watch that. Hey. A fine prince. Sturdy. Sturdy. You will make a fearsome night. <laughs> Does the babe have a name yet? Well, we haven't spoken. Joffrey. <gasps> He'll be called Joffrey. <laughs> an unusual name for Valerian. I do believe he has his father's nose. Wait. <clears throat> if you don't mind, Your Grace, you will... Let me see that baby again. Heroically and should rest. Let me see that baby. That baby looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. That ain't his baby. <laughs> <laughs> don't he? <laughs> what in the world? That's why he said that about well, his nose. Like Aw, <laughs> the Sarah. I think I called the midwife. A <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do keep trying, Selena. Sooner or later, you may get what it looks like you. Dang. So maybe it isn't his. And she knows. Yeah, she's mocking him. Who you name my child? He's our child, is he not? If any one of us is bleeding. I deserve some say in the affairs of my own family. You don't seem so interested in our affairs, do they? <gasps> oh. A policeman. Mother. That's her kids. We chose an egg for the baby. Ah, oh, that looks like the perfect one. All right, all right, all right. We gotta just address that. That ain't his kids. That is not his kids. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, obviously, yeah. I let Luke choose. Thank you, Chase. We'll escort the lads. Lena and I thank you, Commander. Another boy, I heard. What a fine night you're going to make, eh? Might I? So Harwin wishes to be introduced to Joffrey? Of course. Joffrey, is it? Mm -hmm. Sleep in front of the commander of the city watch. Terrible lack of respect. <laughs> A certain insolence runs in the family, I'm afraid. 
So he's commander of the city watch. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's the position because he's snooping the queen. <laughs> Maybe she elevated him. Yeah, she got him a little um, promotion. Aww. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little boy looks like Robin Aaron. On Isn't this a baby one though? Because it don't look big. He was bored. Aww. Max to heal Siri. You saw his face? He got burnt up before. Well, he's probably not Targaryen. Them dragons don't listen to him. Oh, no. No. <laughs> As Prince Egon has with Sunfire. That's their kid and another one? Once they're fully bound to you, they will refuse to take instruction from any other. Can I say it? Dracarys Vermax. Oh, wow. Oh no. He was like pumped to say that. He likes lamb chops. That's one of Rhaenyra's kids? Yeah, the little brown head. Mm -hmm. You're the only one of us without a dragon. Indeed. And we felt badly about it. So we found one for you. A dragon. How? The gods provide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a cute one. Behold, the pink <laughs> dread. <laughs> Don't be mad about it. I would be happy. Be sure to mount her carefully. First flight's always rough. <laughs> that poor little kid. So I take it that the prince is the older brother, so he treats the little brother like crap because the older brother's in line for the throne. Well, he's not really because Rhaenyra is. <laughs> well, yeah, but, but as he, far as he can be House Hightower is concerned, right, right. Yeah. he's brave. I'll give him that. I know. I always feel like when they wear the half hair, they're they're noble, like Ned Stark. So maybe he's a noble one. What they said, he can't ride a dragon. He just doesn't have one. Maybe there's not enough. <gasps> oh no. Oh, maybe he's just not want a Targaryen that is going this to have a dragon. And two pairs of legs on each. That's 240. Yes, it is. It has eyes. I don't believe it can see. And why is that so, do you think? It is beyond our understanding. I suppose you're right. Something's just dark. Eamon. Who's that little girl right there, man? What have you done? Uh, you did it again. After how many times you've been warned, must I have you confined to your chamber? They made me do it. As if you needed encouragement, your obsession with those beasts goes beyond understanding. They gave me a pig! They said they found a dragon for me. The last ring has no legs at all. But it was a pig. You will have a dragon one day. He'll have to close an eye. I know it. They all laughed. They made wings for it, apparently. And a tail. He thought they'd happened upon some wild, unnamed dragon alluded to the dragon pit. Your grandsons are a menace. <laughs> They're more children than he is. They actually did. They're savages. He's it's mad because he was naive enough to believe it. Mm. Are you sure it wasn't our egg on that put them up to it? It's a wonder to me their eggs ever hatched. Why is that? You know why. No, I'm afraid I don't. Don't! Viserys. We shall continue this afternoon, Eddard. Eddard? I have raised this matter before. And you forbade me to speak of it, so I held my tongue. To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. To the throne, to you, to House Valarian, and the match you battled so hard to make for her. Not to mention decency itself. I had a black mare once, black like a raven. One day, she escaped her pasture, and the neighboring stallion sighed a foal on her. <laughs> <laughs> the stallion was as silver as the moon on a winter's night. And the foal, when it was born, chestnut, just the most unremarkable brown horse you ever saw nature is a thing of mysterious works wow what's that little triangle thing called how do you know what we have dominant recessive genes the silver stallion how do you know it was him a pundit square i think did you witness the act itself the consequences of an allegation like the one you toy had would be dire so he sees it he's just being like willfully ignorant to it Don't like Tyrion or uh Tywin. Tywin, yeah. Have I lost my sanity, Sir Criston? Do my senses lead me astray, or is everyone else asleep, dreaming the same woolly dream? Sometimes seems so, Your Grace. She flaunts the privilege of her inheritance without shame. She expects everyone in the Red Keep to deny the truth our eyes can all plainly see. And the king, her father. He knows. Of course he knows. He'll do naught but make excuses for her. Damn, she trusts him. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. Wait, I have a question, a spider though. Who stings do you think that Al Do you think Alicent's, um upset because Rhaenyra is being able to do whatever she wants but still be able to keep her title and name and all that like that's kind of what they're getting at and she has there's no a choice. lot yeah there's yeah. a lot of that i think in her mind yeah i think in her mind she feels like like i said man her dad's outed you know his dad her dad's out her family has no future in a sense 
she's essentially like, you know, she took on this whole role for duty. So she feels like she's gained nothing. She's taken on all the hardships of like being royalty and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Kind of like, I'm like a second son. Right. So maybe so. And maybe just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe we'll learn more about her psyche as we go on. Right. But and also I thought about that girl. Um, Remember the last episode when that baby was crying in her arms and it was a little girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's who that little girl was. Let's go. A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. <laughs> X. That's what you are. That was beneath me, Your Grace. I apologize. I have to believe that in the end, honor and decency will prevail. Me to hew to that and to each other. That's an interesting narrative you're setting forth. Oh no. Whose idea was it? <laughs> <laughs> His mom caught him. The pig. Was it your plot? No. <laughs> it was the two of them. I couldn't be sure. Edmund is your brother. Oh, he's a twat. We are family. You may cuff him about as you wish at home, but in the world, we must defend our own. It was funny. Do you think Rhaenyra's sons will be your playthings forever? Rhaenyra will ascend the throne, and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So? You are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? He's like a stoner (laughs) back then. (laughs) He's like, so? If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. Aemon's as well. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. What a loss yeah. that would be. You are the challenge. You are the challenge, Egon. Simply by living and breathing. <laughs> you are the king's firstborn son. And what they know, what everyone in the realm knows, in their blood and in their bones, is that one day you will be our king. The king who ejaculated. <laughs> <laughs> over the king's la- Was he king ja- ejaculating over King's Landing or the bells or something? <laughs> Bro, I don't know. <laughs> That looked like the same place Tommen did that thing, didn't it? That place has a long legacy. <laughs> that was crazy. Like, who is that kid? <laughs> and how does she have such like an idiot kid? Like, what happened? He he just is like has no idea he's like a contender <laughs> for the throne. <laughs> okay. Is that Whoa. that little girl? That's an old dragon. <laughs> So he he obviously unburnt. <laughs> yeah, just tormenting the people down there. Lamb Lots of fruits are excellent. We are fortunate in our cook, Your Excellence. There's a plum cake yet to be served, which will have us fighting over the crumbs. And before we come to blows, a toast to Egon the Conqueror, your exalted forebear, who joined our cause against Volantis in a century of blood. On the great dragon Balerion, he flew to our aid in Lys and burned a fleet of enemy ships, thus turning the tide. Egg on the Conqueror. Who egg on the Conqueror? He's like their George Washington. This brings me to some business. Proposal I wish to make in the spirit of honoring our storied alliance. Your aim is to marry one of our daughters, Your Excellence. You might have said so and spared us the history lesson. I would not count myself so deserving, my Lady Lena. I wish to <laughs> offer you a permanent residence here in Pentos. This manse I would gift to you outright along with its farms, and lands, the vineyard, and the wood, the tenants would pay their tributes annually to their new Targaryen lord. You would have your freedom of the city and the harbor, as befits your royal station. Sweet deal. Continue. Lys and its allies rise again. The Triarchy has made common cause with Corin Martell of Dawn. At Uh-oh. any moment, they may turn their sights north. Your family has dragons. Three now, mayhaps four. In the future, my aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Triarchy. Aid Pentos in this, as Egon once did, and my gratitude will fill your cup and overflow it. Your Excellence, we are travelers. We've already extended our visit here. It's a most generous offer, and one we will certainly entertain. So he wants some, he wants Damon to go help him fight against the Triarchy. Yeah, I guess Crab Man's back. Nah. Oh, well, you were just being funny. Yeah. Dang, Damon's got kids. I know. Who is this guy? He's in a library. Settle down. This is why you guys like him. Because he's in a library. I was wondering. I was like, you what the hell? You are considering Prince Reggio's offer. We have a good life here. We're free to do as we please. Welcomed and feted. And eternally guessed. Precisely. We are without responsibility. The political scheming. The end <laughs> he's tired of, it. of loyalties in succession. They are using us. It's refreshing, isn't it? A simple transaction. We have dragons, they have gold. The hairstyle, the hairstyle. We are more than this, Damon. We are not minstrels or mummers who play at the pleasure of an alien prince. We are the blood of old Valeria. We don't belong here. Valeria is gone, we don't belong anywhere. 
I want my child to be born where I was born, on Driftmark, in my Lord Father's castle. I want my daughters to be raised in their homeland with their family, according to their birthright. And at my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death, not that of some fat country lord. Okay, that's Lena, right? The yeah. one that Viserys was just to marry? Right, yeah. She's one, come a long way. She grew up. Damon was looking at her the whole time. <laughs> Sleazy D over here. <laughs> Uncle Damon. <laughs> He's like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's Aegon. Aegon Wylan. Soften your knees. Feet light. This is the stuff, Lino. Lads that learn together, train together, help each other down, pick each other up. We'll certainly form a lifelong right. bond, wouldn't you agree? That is the hope, Your Grace. Oh. Don't stand too upright, my prince. You'll get knocked down. Hang <laughs> <laughs> on. I've won my first bout, Sir Christian. My opponent sues for mercy. Uh, you'll have a new opponent then, my lord of the straw. Let's see if you can touch me. You and your brother. Oh, he said 2v1. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You got a long way to go, don't they? <laughs> ah, weapons up, boy. Give your enemies no quarter. Seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention. You question my method of instruction, sir. I see what's going I on here. I merely suggest that method be applied to all your pupils. Very well. Just share it. That's the air, right? <laughs> and he messes with the blonde haireds because the uh, son, queen. But he ain't messing with her because he ain't on her side. Mm -hmm. So he ain't messing with that little boy. Match. I know you've never seen true battle style, but when steel is drawn, a fair match isn't something anyone should expect. Blades up. Aww. Oh. No, I was saying that one right there is the air to Ramirez's side. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why Chris. Chris Don don't like him. Can't give him no attention. Play. I'll deal with him. They're corners. He's like, come on, Leon. Yeah. Round two. Get a dead out of the fire, Leon. Close you. Press him backwards. Use your feet. <laughs> don't let him get up. <laughs> Stay on the attack. Enough. All right. You dare put hands on me. They're gone. You forget yourself, Strong. That is the prince. This is what you teach, Cole. Cruelty. For the weaker opponent. Your interest in the princing's training is quite unusual, Commander. He's a Most hater. Most men now. would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin, or a brother, or a son. Man, you better shut your mouth. Ooh. Dang, man. Yeah, because I feel like my boy is taking Kristen, no problem. Yeah, shut your mouth, Kristen. Yeah, shut your damn mouth. Sorry, it's a good. Sorry, it's a good. Look at, did you see Aegon oh, back there giggling? He said not as much. Close and see to it the cook gives you a good clear one. Uh-oh. There's been an incident in the yard. Her men be punching people up, don't they? Out of shame, Harwin! Shame on the whole of House Strong. Because I laid my hands on that insufferable coal. The son of a steward. He is a knight of the King's Guard now. Sail a defender of future heir to the throne. You, the the you have laid us open to accusations of an uglier treachery. And what treachery is that? Don't play the fool with me, boy. Oh, he Intimacy with the Princess oh. Rhaenyra is an offense that would mean exile and death for you, for her, for the children. It is rumor only spun by the princess's rivals. People have eyes, boy. Yet his grace the king, it seems, will not accept what is I say. This flimsy shield alone stands between you and the headsman. He said, causable deniability, baby. Of a father towards his child. Right, they don't need 23 of me. They can see that. Similar blindness. Have I not these many years? And yet today, publicly assaulted a knight of the king's heart in the, in the defense of your... You have your honor. And I have mine. Oh, no. To ease the pain, princess. You'll feel better in a day or two. When the milk dries up. I wish I could recall the songs in the show because they're probably singing something I should know, but I have no idea. It sounds like the one with Brienne, but I can't really hear it. My dear wife, I fell down. <laughs> he was out there doing that. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, with Carl. Did I mention it? <laughs> Carl with a Q. Milk. 
swells the breast. Would you mind, Sir Carlo? I would like to speak with my husband. Of course, princess. <laughs> well, he's been faithful, bro. He deserves to enjoy himself at least, man. He's war is afoot again in the Stepstones, Rhaenyra. The Triarchy takes new life from its alliance with Dawn. They're waylaying ships and cargo. Carl's been fighting there. And he showed me a <laughs> He showed me a sack of sapphires big as walnuts he took from a pirate he slew. After all this time, this is just what I need. A little adventure. Good honest <laughs> battle to enliven my blood again. He says there is a Tyroshi general there, a giant, they say, who dyes his beard purple and wears women's frocks. This man's so <laughs> miserable at home, he's just dying to go to war. I know. He's happy and excited. Months, maybe. But he can't read the room. She is not mm. feeling this conversation. To be back at sea. Are you mad? Do you know what's happened? Well, you've been guzzling all the ale in Flea Bottom. God to know what besides. Dark rumors are hunting us, Lionel. They nip at our heels. Questions about our son's parentage. Vile, disgusting insinuations. Insinuations, are they? They are our sons. Yours and mine. And their true father will not abandon them now to go carousing through the narrow sea, waggling his sword and winking at his sailors. I am a knight. <laughs> <laughs> and a warrior. <laughs> and I have played my part here faithfully. He really has. Ten, Ten years. Ooh. I am owed some. You are owed nothing. For ten years, you have indulged yourself at court, bought the finest horses. This was our agreement. I have not begrudged you. I mean, yeah, maybe. But maybe she's right. You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Wow. That's some pirate talk. Very well, then I command you. As your princess and the heir to the throne, you are commanded to remain in King's Landing and at my side. As it orders now. I take it that for 10 years, she never had to do that, though. She wants a little soft-boiled. It's been eight years, sweetly. Half of them never do, you know. What? Hatch. Hmm. Will they let me stay? Well, who let you stay? The Prince of Pentos. I don't understand. Well, it's you and father and Bela. Because you have dragons. Aww. Kind of like the other little boy with no dragon. Yeah. She's sad too. There is more than one way to bind yourself to a dragon. I was without one until I was 15 years old. And now I ride a bagel. The largest in the world. Oh, that's a super old one. That's the one from Ovalaria, is it that's, not? That's the, the one with the V? Road. That's the one. Bela's dragon was born to her. Aegon's wife rode or something like junk like that. Old, old dragon. But if you wish to be a rider, you must claim that right. Your father will tell you the same. Father ignores me. Mm. He's doing his best. He is a sweet family, though. They seem like sweet little girls. Yeah, I never would have saw that coming. I know, I mean, from Damon. <laughs> Leonor has written, Rhaenyra has delivered another son. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the <laughs> commander of the city watch? <laughs> <laughs> he seems to have left that detail out. Yeah. I miss my brother, Damon, as I think do you. I miss Westrossy strong wine. We could be depended on for a few hours of peaceful oblivion. It's amber shit they drink here. So she wants to leave and he does that. Do you never long for home? No. You lure the virtues of Pentos, but you have no interest in it. If you did, you would venture into the city, but instead you spend your time here, in the library, reading accounts of the same dead dragon lords whose legacy you claim has no hold on you. Didn't know I was being so minutely observed. You do not sleep. That's like Viserys, isn't it? My every move. Life has, I know, disappointed you. Perhaps I too am not the wife you would have wished for yourself. Lena. It does not pain me. I have made my peace. But you are more than the statement. The man I married is more than this. Well, dang, maybe he's getting old. It's been 10 years. She's taking back on the dragon, honey. <laughs> Put their horses to graze in his field. Well, why was this issue not brought before Lord Grover? Has he grown so feebly he cannot settle a quarrel over rocks? I've heard tell that Lord Grover's son now rules River Run in all but name. Well, he's also a Tully. This remains a Tully problem. If we may move on, my lord. And lords. yet, the Brackens and the Blackwoods will use any excuse to spill each other's blood. So, this dispute bears looking into. There will be country folk who know where the lines have been drawn for generations. That is easy enough. The tension between those Sir two. Tyler. It's cool to see that they're there, though. Uh, it's we interesting. Address the latest developments <clears throat> in the Stepstones, my lords. Uh, ever be shut of that blasted place. 
That's me, I think the Blackwoods have the upper hand. <laughs> We've moved on to the Stepstones, Lord Beesbury. And the Triarchy's new alliance with Dawn. I was hoping our negotiations with Sunspear might persuade them to see reason. I trust the Martell is to be disappointed. Baby, is Damon involved in the Triarchy? Is he is he in that alliance? To me, it looks like he's on the run because he's in Pinto, so he's in Esso somewhere. Right. It seems like to me he's aligned against the king's interests right now. Is that true or false? I, I don't know. I feel like Be he's just MIA. Because remember when the sea snake went and talked to Damon behind the king's back? It seems like they jumped ship and they basically went in pleasure. Well, yeah, and he is married to Lena. And yeah. he was trying to fix that whole thing by marrying. Um, who did he say? He went there to go say someone will marry someone or something. Renero will marry. Lenore? Right, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. And then uh and then Damon ends up marrying because he, the guess he met also. her at the wedding right. or something. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like this show's more complicated than Game of Thrones, is it not? Yeah. This one's three times more layered than Game of Thrones, I feel like. Because Game of Thrones was like it was deep too, but there was so many storylines going on that each one didn't really get that deep. Right. And so it was kind of easier well, to Well just put had it a switch up for me in my head because they just recasted everybody. So for me it was like I had to relearn them again in my head. I'm yeah, sorry, trying. guys. We're, we're trying with this one. I'm trying. That's me. I think the Blackwoods have the upper hand. No. I suppose I should call him King, as he styled himself when he won a battle there once. It was a decade ago, and he has since left the region undefended. <laughs> we have left it undefended. There should have been fortifications built, watchtowers, a fleet of ships, a garrison of soldiers sent to hold our ground. We cannot afford it. Our coffers are great, but not infinite. We must consider the cost to our subjects. I must agree. The cost of war is greater. Uh oh. But we have been lax, and the old monster now lifts its head. Let us be finished. She hates her. She looks like she's about to vomit. Do you see that? Yeah. Wait. Oh, I wish you to girls. Speak. Be seated. Look at her standing. I have felt the strife between our families of late, my queen. Oh, yeah, and she's for mad. any offense given by mine, I apologize. But we are one house. Long before that, we were friends. Besties. Y'all went to church together. The gods would. Yep, laid in My the lap. My son, Jocerus, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Ally oh, bug girl. ourselves <laughs> once and for all. Let them rule together. Our most judicious proposition. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants peace, bro. He's like, That's yes. a hell of an offer, though. Additionally, yeah. if Cyrax brings forth another clutch of eggs. Your son, Aemond, will have his choice of them. Uh, oh, the one that doesn't have something to ride. Symbol of our goodwill. She's like, yeah, but those aren't really... Rhaenyra. Oh, seven Oh, eggs. she's milking. Um, a dragon's egg is a handsome gift. Who cares? Let him milk. <laughs> she is sincere. She is desperate. She feels the earth washing away beneath her feet, and now she expects us to ignore her transgressions and for me to marry my only daughter to one of her... Bastards, yeah. Plain featured sons. Plain picture buttons. <laughs> Good one, my queen. We're a family. Let us put aside these childish quarrels. Join hands and be stronger for it. You may do as you wish, husband. But I am cold in my grave. Oh, <laughs> she Alice. runs that. She wore the pants. Alison. She's just gonna leave him. It's crazy. When she first walked in there, she was just like, Yo, Grace. Hey, let me mend your dragon. Now she's probably gonna crush that thing. <laughs> Slap his ass upside his head. <sighs> put him to bed. I do not need the black. Behind you, Grace. The king is resting. I will see him. I'm being endlessly fussed over Lionel. <laughs> what do I do? Visit the privy alone. What might this errand be about, Lord Lionel? I have come to resign my position as Hand of the King. <gasps> Don't do that. The episode in the yard this morning. My son, Harwin, has disgraced himself. And every fishwife in King's Landing will soon be telling the tale. Young Harwin's outburst was unfortunate, it's true. But he's been expelled from the city watch. That seems punishment enough. Forgive me, Your Grace, it is not. Wow. You have served me faithfully for many years. Tanner's hand. Your advice has been sage. Unlock my self-interest, which stands in contrast to all others. A good hand, huh? You speak kind words, but there is a shadow over my house and it grows ever darker. I can no longer serve you with integrity. What is this shadow? Mm. Name it if it casts such a gloom. You must have your reasoning in plain <laughs> language. <laughs> I cannot. Then I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. If you insist, my king. I do. You will continue in your service to the crown. I would then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. He is my heir and will be lord of Harren's castle one day. It is time he assumed his duties there. Do it. She looks like disappointed. I can see why she's so bitter though. He won't even... Me. Sorry, I know we'll be pausing guys, but he... 
she's like, dude, we sleep together. We have kids together. You won't even name him heir to the throne. And she's like, what? Like, what the f is going on? You know what I'm saying from her she perspective? Do, she don't know. She doesn't know that Targaryen little secret, does she? Right, because she's not Targaryen. That's why. <clears throat> I really like the choice of Emma from uh, that show. It's cool to like know someone. <laughs> <laughs> you going to help me? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Double bless you. <laughs> triple. I took the liberty Sorry. of beginning with oh, That's a stand up triple right there. It seemed a sin to let such a pie grow cold. You did wisely, Lord Laris. Laris, I gotta remember his name. No such worry about the wine, surely. Meat without wine is also Hey, insane. but Laris mm. though? Laris is that hand's son, so really he's the the heir's uncle. If he's the hand's okay, I he's a hand's son. That means he's that guy's brother. Whose brother? The dad of Rhaenyra's kids. Oh, because he's always talking about his dad. Oh, okay, okay, they're brothers. But I see. I haven't like seen them really together yet, so that's and why I can't really put him with like it. Maybe this like crippled with a broken foot. Maybe he's like an outcast of the family in a sense. Right, so maybe, maybe that's like why hates he's like, him. Right, maybe. Because he told he told her that juicy goss in the in the thing. What are we gonna call this man? Iron foot. It's been my duty to tell you of happenings about the castle, but tonight you know, and I do not. King had an audience with my father. He attempted to resign his post. Not for as much. His honor has always been a millstone about his esteemed neck. Mm. Interesting, you said attempted. My lord husband refused to accept. Then he fell short of confessing my brother's transgressions. With his eruption in the yard, your brother all but confessed the truth himself. Truth has many flavors, your grace. Do you expect the king to doom his dear daughter to exile, or even... Tell you not now. So they're talking it's about some... blindness. Top level okay. secrecy, huh? Mm hmm. You'd surely suffer the same affliction if it came to I it. would not. Lord Lionel is to escort Sir Harwin back to Harren Hall to watch over his seat whilst he continues to serve his hand. The hand is compromised by the acts of his son. My father cannot give unbiased counsel to the king. It is now that I must rue the absence of my own father. He wouldn't hesitate to speak the truth to the king if Otto Hightower was still at hand. You cannot say, my queen, that your father would be impartial in this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. Damn, what a confession. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's what she wants. In all of King's Landing, is there no one to take my side? What a collection of heroes I have before me. Oh, it's him. A murderer, a deviant, a traitor to the crown. For your crimes, you've been sentenced to death by hanging. What do you want with us? I am prepared to offer you mercy if you're prepared to pay a little price. What is going on? <gasps> ah! Uh uh, bro. What is happening? So that guy right there ain't no good, huh? Must push. Not another freaking birth. Don't get me wrong, man. Life is beautiful and all, but jeez. Ugh. It just makes me a little nauseous. Must push now, my lady. They're so brutal. That's why these ones are brutal. I've reached the limit of my art. Child will not come. Yeah, my brave girl. I'm very sorry, my prince. Could lay open the wound. Try to remove the infant by way of the blade. But I cannot say for a surety whether it lives. Would the mother survive it? No. Just like Viserys. Just like Viserys, yeah. man. And he was acting like an ass when that was happening to Viserys. He was doing the jousting. And remember he said air for a day. She's going out to her dragon. Maybe she's flying to Driftmark. They are Dragaris. <gasps> what? Ah, Dragaris! Dragaris! The dragon's saying no. That's an old dragon. He's also on riders. Wow, it, ha it was like deciding whether or not to, wasn't it? I think the way she looked at him, she told him it was okay because she was really on she's going to make it. Well, remember, she said she wanted to dry die a dragon rider's death. Yeah. Yeah, she did say that. I'll visit when I can. But that may be some time. I will return. I promise. I will be a stranger when we meet again. Dang. He could kind of raise his kids like that. Now he can't. Princess. That's so sad, man. So her quote unquote, like, hookup partner, she kind of fell in love with him, huh? We will exchange letters by Raven. Is Harlan Strong my father? 
Oh, wow. Am I a bastard? You are a Targaryen. That's all that matters. Wow. A word? I take it he's gone. We're finished here. We're leaving. What of your offer? Jace and Helena? I have been undermined and made a spectacle. They whisper about me in the corridor as well. I leave them to it. To Dragonstone then? I should have left years ago. Oh, she wants to go to the Dragon Keep? The Dragon Spot? He's like, what hell your no. position? You always said if you were absent from court, she would pour her honey in your father's ear. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Oh, I think bring, a wise man said that. Bring him. We'll need every sword we can muster. Carl with a Q. <laughs> that was really what it was, though. I know. <laughs> oh, this is about to be insane. Oh, never mind. I thought it was Rhaenyra. A bug. That's the same thing it was on his cane. Oh, so their house bug. Which is what that girl's daughter was playing with the bug. Right. Was that? Is that the hand? Oh my gosh. And they were in Ratville, Harrenhal. What are children but a weakness, a folly, a futility? Through them, you imagine you cheat the great darkness of its victory. That was his wife's, Emma's. Mm hmm. You will persist forever in some form or another as if they would keep you from the dust. But for them, you surrender what you should not. Oh, wow. You may know what is the right thing to be done. Love stays the hand. Hmm. Love is a downfall. Best to make your way through life unencumbered, if you ask me. A dead. You've heard the stories of Harren Hall, Your Grace. Yeah, it's like a bad spot. Built in hubris by Harren the Black as a monument to his own greatness. They think uh, it's haunted, right? Yeah, that's why they kept giving it a little finger, because he sucks. <laughs> Big Harren Hall. It is said to be a cursed place, but it passes judgment on all who pass beneath its gates. You pass judgment. The queen makes a wish. What servant of the realm would not strive to fulfill it? That's awfully ambitious of you. That's your family. I assume you will write to your father now? I did not wish for this I feel certain you will reward me when the time is right okay he's vile watch out for him holy mess guys that was insane so that's why he cut their their tongues out so that way they couldn't speak about um, it because he made he, an arrangement he's like, he's like oh y'all are gonna die anyways let me cut your tongues out and y'all do this for me oh right wow. man and then you guys can't speak about it Jeez, that, that guy out here. Crazy. Okay, babe, before we get into the timeline and all that good stuff, just right off the bat, what did you think about that episode? I thought at the beginning I was a little mm, like, hmm, what's going on here? Because there's new faces. And with new faces, I'm always trying to like kind of understand because, you know, I, I had a good grasp of it before, but now just having to associate people differently is... I mean, they're not too big of a difference, you know, but you still have to kind of pay attention. And I'm really liking, I kind of like the time jump in a way, because like a lot of things are different. Like, for example, we saw Damon and yeah, he like did. had a whole new family. And like we saw Rhaenyra, she has like three kids now. It was just, and we saw Allison has three kids or four kids or something. Yeah. And it was just, it was cool to see that kind of in a way. And it was just cool to see where her and, um, what's his name? Uh, the, her husband. Her and Lenore's relationship mm -hmm. is, and I guess just all of all of it. What about you, I, dude? I loved it, man. I was really invested to the original characters. <laughs> and to be honest with you guys, man, when we first heard that was going to be a character, we did hear that from like our comments and stuff. People warned us, but they told us that a long time ago. To be honest, because they were trying to sell us on House of Dragons. So just with full transparency for you guys, but I didn't really mind it. Like yeah, I, I thought either. that I would, I thought it would bother me, but after like 15, 20 minutes. I was just so invested. And like I said, seeing the girl who played on uh, Bates Motel, seeing Emma from that, it was just a familiar face. And that's one of the very, we forgot to tell people that we watched that show together. Yeah. But that's like, that might be like one of the very first shows we watched together, was it not? Right. Well, that we like finished. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it was cool to see someone that we knew from another show. It almost made it feel like home in a way. And so that was really good. So, you know, at least there was some familiar, you know, some familiar faces. Uh, 
I, I think the dynamic between these two women hating each other, both of them have really legitimate claims. Both of their children are going to pay the price for their action. I mean, all the politics that goes into it, the fact that this little finger character right here just basically facilitated the beginning of a war between that because she is going to freak out when she realizes that he's dead. Right. And that that's probably going to start more war because like, that's her baby daddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I don't know how she's going to figure out that was her or whatever, but it seemed like that guy did it. Said, oh, well, I did it because you asked me to, uh, your grace. But really, he didn't ask. But it's just one of those things. He did it, and everyone, no one's going to believe that he acted alone to do that right. against her wishes. I think you nailed it on the head in the middle of the episode that he kind of is assumes the outcast position in his family. Um, because you said probably like you, he observes, he looks back and stuff. But also, I just wanted to point out a few episodes ago, there was like a bunch of ladies talking and this is where we were introduced to him. He was sitting amongst the women and stuff like just listening to the gossip. Well, I think because he has a broken leg and can't do much. <clears throat> so he just hangs out there and obviously it makes him stronger in that way. Maybe he can It's like a superpower. Well, maybe he can harness all the. Maybe he can go and take what he can from all the women in the in the realm, learn a the lot gossip. from them, and then enact it because he's you know a man, so he can navigate like almost like a dude in a way, you know. Really interesting. Let me go through my trusty rusty timeline. So we started out uh, basically, Princess Rhaenyra was giving birth, and Alicent summoned her immediately. The baby popped out. Like and we had just got done done here in the ripping of the skin, and then three minutes later, we're on our way to go see Alice. Like we so, didn't even have the afterbirth come out yet. She got up, and then it happens on her way. Very interesting. Uh, we walk up. The first thing we realize is Kristen Cole is sitting outside of Allison's door. So after ten years of service, uh, Kristen is rocking with Allison, and you can tell because she was she was more open with him than anyone. She was more open with him than she's ever been with the king. She was more open with him than she's ever been with Rhaenyra when they were right. little. She was just very open. And not only was she open, she was very she's very sure of herself and who she is and like her position and all that. So she's being she's just being confrontational in a lot of ways. So a very awkward exchange in there because Well, I, a question about that to start with. Why do you was the reasoning you think she sent Rhaenyra there? I mean the baby, not even Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra went up there for her own reasoning, but the baby she called for the baby was it because she wanted to see what it looked like well yeah but um, another i mean anyone with a decent soul would be like okay well let me at least give the mom like a couple hours yeah. i'll go make my way down there i'll go it was like a power like, move it was a power move yeah. it was just 100 percent. it was a slap in the face and that looks like a rodeo they've like been in a couple times so definitely and obviously the pat the paternity issues came up which is very interesting and mm -hmm. they keep telling uh, the son of the sea snake. I I'm having a hard time with the names, guys. Lainor. I learned them. Lainor. Um, basically, yeah. So it was Lainor. So Lainor, they was making little jabs at him. Keep trying. One will look like you. And I feel really bad for that character. I really like that character because he hung in there for ten years. Well, even though the realm's corrupt in a lot of ways, you always have to give it off. Like you have to give it up to someone if they're willing to put their own personal ambitions, their own personal feelings aside to do what's best for you know the realm and the traditions of it. Uh, because they are in peacetime. So he sort of did his part, I felt like. So I have a lot of respect for that character. I, I like him a lot. I like his dad a lot, too. His dad just seems someone... He seems like someone who just isn't scared to start a war. So we'll have to see about Coralus. But I really like him, though. But he just seems like someone who's really proud, who doesn't really have a lot of room to be merciful. He seems like he really needs to take charge with his family's position. But I'm getting distracted. But anyways, after the paternity thing, what happened? After the patern the paternity thing. Yeah, they was questioning the paternity. Oh, well, they did that a bunch through this episode, but I guess that little fight in the courtyard. Right, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. The next thing that happens is we get to meet the kids, which we found out there's Jace, which is the heir on Rhaenyra's side, and we found out there's Aegon and Aemon. A yeah, Aegon on, and Aemon. Um, on the Hightower side, which mm -hmm. uh, Lady Allison's side, and we also found out she is a, a daughter as right. well and they put it seems like Aegon is really kind of like he uses Rhaenyra's children like to play games with, on his little brother right well he's just all around just 
an absolute idiot man just the <laughs> the biggest dummy you'll ever meet so he's i i would say he's just like a new age teenager like he acts like a teenager nowadays he's like a little like a game like a little gamer a little gamer guy <laughs> anyways man the dude's obviously uh he, he's a really dumb character man he's just introduced to someone who's just a complete idiot like to be honest maybe the lowest iq character we've met in this entire series right so i far, love when they're fighting in the courtyard and it has the one i think his name is amund with a d and he's like barely swinging at the thing and then that kid's like yeah 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 like, right. <laughs> like going crazy right so allison has a discussion with the king and he's very willfully ignorant about the whole thing he doesn't really want to acknowledge it at all it kind of reminded me of uh tywin lannister when cersei basically 100 percent admitted yo this is what's going down and then he just would not hear it and she even screamed your whole legacy is a lie and he just wasn't gonna have it so that sort of reminds me of the king that's sort of the king in a nutshell he just he doesn't really take any action in any type of way he just sits there and like he shook it off and compared it to a horse like like a horse dna is the same as ours or something like that yeah, yeah he's a go with the flow type of guy and then there was mrs october's favorite scene uh the dude was sitting there beating off onto the yeah my peasants total below. favorite scene <laughs> and he was sitting there beating off into the peasants below pops <laughs> in bed he was trying to he was trying to do it on their head like imagine just walking by like i'll be pissed imagine you couldn't do anything about it because if you did they'd take your head off and your family's head off <laughs> Oh well, my Lord. well, anyways, this little guy, he when <laughs> when the mom comes in, which she didn't even acknowledge what she saw, because it seemed like maybe she doesn't seen that a few times. She walks in and says, um, Jace is the heir to the throne. And the guy's like, so <laughs> he's like, so bro. he's like, you're you, um, you're the one that needs to contest it, basically. And that and he's the oldest set of all those kids. And he's obviously in my mind, he, he seems like the biggest dick. Right. And I'm sitting there thinking. Your mom's trying to save your soul because that kid's going to grow up and remember the torturous little punk you were. Well, he's, he's not a punk head. to them right now. No, he's not a punk to them. The little, the younger, the, like, he seems like he's friends with them. Oh, Ooh. wait. No, they got in a fight in no, the courtyard. No, they beat him up in the courtyard. Yeah, I forgot about that. But at the beginning, they seemed like they were kind of tight. Well, he doesn't seem like he has any type of emotional connection with anyone. So right. if you walk up and like, hey, let's beat up this dude. He'll beat him up, but if right. you turn around two seconds later, he'll be beating you up if somebody offers to beat you up. He seems like a, just a scary individual, man. Someone who doesn't really have any type of remorse or anything, kind of sociopathic. You know, I couldn't imagine doing that on someone's forehead and not feeling a little bad for <laughs> it. Know. But I thought it was funny because uh, Kristen's sitting there, and obviously, uh, Kristen, he's sitting there trying to teach everyone how to fight, and he's giving all the attention to Allison's kids. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to Rainier's kids, he just doesn't seem very interested. Obviously, the dad doesn't like this very much. Calls him out. Uh, Kristen, in turn, turns around and challenges him, essentially, which ends up getting him beat up, which was funny to see. I was glad to see that. Mm -hmm. But then he ended up dying. So who got the last laugh, I guess? Right. So that just goes to show, man. You got to be smart. You can't be having an emotional outburst. You got to think about it. Right. But I guess that moment in the courtyard just showed who was parent to who because Sir Kristen made accusations about you're so tight with them. Why is that strange, right? Right. Right. And then we're having a we're having a small council meeting. And I really like how in this show the ladies are actually present in these. It just goes to show that it's shaping up like Rhaenyra and um Allison are gonna be two two of the pillars of the show, I guess, going head to head. That sort of seems what it seems like to me. Yeah. Unless it fades off them and devolves into their sons but um right 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 which it could do that too right but i will say i really like how they're involved i like how they both seem to have a mind for it cersei wasn't very interested in the logistics i mean i know she she sat in a lot but it was more for like her but when ego. she became queen she kind of did but these two aren't queen or anything they're just i don't know if she learned anything as queen in hindsight Maybe she did. Maybe I'd have to rewatch the series. Well, I just it saying, I'm, like just, in the I'm end, talking about the convo with the Iron Bank. She seemed like she knew what she was doing in that situation. Yeah, maybe. But I like how they're sitting in, though. I really like that. So it just goes to show they're actually both players. They're both sort of legitimate. Mm -hmm. And I like that contrast because in this show, there's no there's no clear side. I mean, there is, but not really. Right. Like, even in the end right here, Allison didn't mean for all that craziness to happen. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't she know didn't. how evil she is at this point. Well, Rhaenyra in this scene right here told everyone to sit down. Allison still stands up and Rhaenyra kind of says, you know, I'm tired of this of this chaos. Let's join our houses. Marry your daughter to my son, who her son's going to be the heir and they can rule together. 
Yeah, and the reason she didn't sit down is because she wanted to show, like, I don't... Yeah, yeah I know. exactly, so... Um, I thought that was a fair enough offer, you know? It seems like she's doing her best to try Viserys to... Viserys loved it. Viserys was freaking ready was to put it in moon, writing. Yes, yeah. he was. He wanted to go take a nap. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't but think Allison liked that this at all, scene though. right here just showed how strong Allison really is when it comes to Viserys, because she literally called the thing, took him, and put him to bed, and that was the end of it. Like, she... Um, Rhaenyra offered something great and she said we'll talk about it bye well Rhaenyra offered something great but it was a hollow promise like if if she had a legitimate heirs it'd be one thing but like that's sort of like being like and hey she's kind of saving herself by that yeah hey I know you hate me but I'm gonna give you this bag full of fake $20 bills and we're gonna call it even well no it's she like, even offered the dragon which I thought was like I, I mean I think I think offering a dragon is a pretty big thing I think in this time though a dragon is not exactly a dime a dozen but Maybe, maybe in Game of Thrones world, she would have took that offer. They were more rare. Yeah. Yeah, definitely really interesting. Uh, it was definitely a power move by her. And it was also an admission by Rhaenyra, though, because by her doing that publicly, you know, it's just an admission of guilt. 100%. And yeah, Allison took it as desperate. So, yeah, it yeah. kind of seemed like Rhaenyra was kind of saying, like, yo, I need, like, a different something to hold my, like, claim, I guess, strong. Yeah, true. And then, obviously, man, the big shocker at the end of the show was, um, well, Renero went to Dragon Soul, and that was pretty crazy. But the other thing was just that uh, the dude with the broken foot, man, the the lead foot, wh whatever his name is, I'll learn his name, but Larius. he orchestrated some giant conspiracy that led to the death of his the family. dad. Yeah, so the hand of the king, right? And I guess he really did hate his family, so there was really truth to that, and. I don't know if anyone will suspect him of killing his own brother like that. Well, he even said, well, he said at the end, he said, it's just the Hall curse. Right. All right, guys. So now that we got through the timeline, I'm not going to sit here and have to look at a computer when I talk. It's very unnatural and I don't like doing it. So, but this show is really complicated on Game of Thrones. I felt like I could remember the episode more, but with right. this, there is so much going on. Definitely. And I don't really know the names as much. So it's easy. I, I like to be able to see their faces, but now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about it. Okay. So. It's still really weird with me with Otto because I know Damon in hindsight turned out to not be so bad. Like I know all of a sudden the timeline went the way it did and then all the characters are different and I, and I get that, but I still feel like I was right for thinking Damon was too wild in the beginning. And I thought Otto's Otto's aim was to try to keep another Megar the cruel, right? Which would essentially be, well, that's what he was saying, but Damon. I, yeah, like I said, man, you can, you can have your own self-interest and as long as they align with what's good for the crown, then I don't really see why that's so much a problem because right. anyone who pretends they don't have their own self-interest is lying on, on some sort. Right. Even, I mean, even the new hand of the King, he's the most faithful of hand of the Kings Viserys said, but he, he even still was serving his own interest in a way, right. With his son setting him up with Rainier. I mean, that whole thing was sort of calculated, right? Well, it seemed like it, but then when he, when he was talking about like him acting out in the yard, that seemed to me like like maybe he regretted setting that up or something. Right. Well, that's kind of like if you have a, a, a son and you're like, hey, this girl, you know, I have a friend who has a daughter who's your age and she's really got it together. She's a really nice girl, blah, blah, blah. And you try to set them up together, or, like put them in each other's direction because you think it would be good for like your family. You know what I mean? Because that makes her kid, their kid, the heir. The right next but to I'm, the iron throne i'm just saying there's nothing wrong with that i mean you might be scheming like hey if my son ended up with this woman then we would essentially all have a better life because you know the opposite is well if she's like a drug addict or something then he's we're gonna have a worse life you know right so i don't think there's anything wrong with that so i don't know how much i really dislike Otto. i didn't see Otto in the second half too much right uh, i really like that character maybe he'll wash out i thought he was about to be a mainstay mm. but i don't know we didn't really well, see how much he i guess he was leaving whenever he got demoted as hand of the king he just left just let us know in the comments man why do you think that we should be team rhaenyra why do you think we should be team allison because there's going to be differing opinions and i do think that i mean both of them in a in a way like i feel bad for both of them yeah there's essentially both there because they're women and they were in a position of power. Well, they weren't in the main position, but they were right there. So I can feel sorry for both of them. Like Allison, she didn't want her dad to like send her in there, but she was just such a little girl when that happened. Yeah. And she was just doing what I'm sitting there praising um, the sea snake son for doing, which is just doing what was best for the realm. So 
she's one of those things but i can see why she's lonely and angry and why she feels like she deserves for her kids to be heir. Like she had to sit there and deal with Viserys for that long, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. But the, she's also seeing Rhaenyra kind of be insulting to everybody by having bastards and stuff. It's almost like she's above it all because she's right. Targaryen. And, and, and that's exactly what I was feeling. That's why that's, she called it like she's basking her privilege and all that. Right. Because she's saying you're doing all this stuff that like any of us could do, but you don't have any re repercussions. Everyone else would. Yeah. Yeah. So that... I mean, it's just like two girls, same age. One is doing the duty and one's doing what they want to do. But it seems like. I don't know. It seems like uh, Rhaenyra's character went into duty mode in a sense, though, you know, because when she was young, she was really, she, you know, she wanted to ride dragons and mm -hmm. be a warrior. Well, that's kind of not what happened. Right. right. I mean, she's, she's been having heirs like yeah. she's supposed to. Yeah. Like having heirs. And at the meetings, it seems like she's talking about things that actually matter right and not only that i mean she didn't seem to be someone she's definitely not a cersei right cersei would never ever ever sit there and concede to someone or any of that and she was totally willing to say hey we got off on the wrong foot so in a lot of ways i respect that but like i said if you're allison you know those kids are illegitimate you know what a rocky foundation that would be to build an alliance you know on right that would that would unravel an alliance that would be right yeah so it's just really complicated and i do think allison's being a little petty but i don't know one character i'm really not messing with man is sir Kristen cole i don't like right. him I, I don't love him either i don't really like that he beat that dude's boyfriend up like that i understand that the dude basically he should have knew his he should have knew his place man he shouldn't have walked up to you he should not have openly he shouldn't have basically, man. You just don't do that to somebody. Like, yeah, and if also you know a read the, about somebody, and don't read the room. And read the room. Like, you clearly see you're in an open spot. Like, Chris and Cole is not stupid. He lives in King's Landing. If I have a, if I have a huge secret, right? Say I have a hu like a humongous secret, and you walk up to me and you whisper, "Hey, I have a secret. I know that you have a secret. So we're actually buddies." In my mind, you're trying to exploit me, right? You know what or I mean? Or you're trying so, to, or you have some blackmail for me forever. And I, and I feel like in that moment, Kristen was just so over that because he felt like maybe it bothered him so heavily that he was he was like suicidal, and maybe that's why he snapped like that. Well, he but, was suicidal. He was about to kill himself, like right after all this happened. So he was already down in the dumps, like, and he was also looking sad at the wedding. He was like just looking off, like bummed. So yeah, but the other dude who just walked up to you, who you just killed. He's bummed too. Right. But he's a little bummed more than you are because he went from bummed to plumbed. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, he got he got his face beat in. Right. Which which that was just that was a crazy scene and just a crazy way to start your marriage. But it seems to me like Lenor and R Rhaenyra's marriage has been out of duty in a way. Yeah. Like she's married for duty by marrying Lenor a hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. This universe is very, very unique because if I had to marry some woman out of duty, but then they just got done beating your face in, there's just no way I could do it. I would just be so, I mean, I'd be scary at that point, right? Like, I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want to be around me. So, um, it was it's just like a bad omen, but he ended up naming their last kid, which I guess was a boy, right? Yeah, he she named had... him after him. So that was nice right. to see. Yeah. Um, guys, incredible episode, man. I, I just think that. It's obviously shaping up to be uh, Allison versus Renera, obviously, and and Renera even left. Uh, she went to, to Dragonstone. So when she went to Dragonstone, she was saying he was saying, "Oh, you just want to be there so you can hear um, Allison pour honey in your dad's mouth, or or whatever." And um, Renera kind of just said, "To hell with all that. I don't really care what they do. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to be there because she kind of got exposed." Right, but is that a bad quality in her? Does that mean she's running? Does it mean well? I mean, if you're, if you're the heir, if you're the heir, wouldn't you want to know about the things that are going on in King's Landing? I don't know. Well, I don't know in her how mind, that works. in her mind, she was giving it up. Like Allison won because it seemed like to me she didn't like she wants to be queen and all, but it seemed like to me she wants to be queen, but not at the expense of having to do this with her kids. Right. Yeah. So um, if that's her motivation, right, I don't she know. She said she should have done it years ago. So yeah, that probably is right. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't really think we missed anything. I think we need to watch a little bit more. Yeah. To have more to talk about for mm -hmm. sure. But I just think that this this series is going absolutely crazy. I know Game of Thrones. I know it was just such a cultural phenomenon at the moment. So many people 
maybe watched it over a long period of time and developed like a relationship with the show and like really loved it. And so that's why you guys go and watch the reactions and stuff. I don't know how we're going to do on House of Dragons. You know, we haven't put it out yet. But one thing I will tell you guys, if this is your first time watching, pay attention to the politics because in my opinion, I almost think they're better. And someone who just absolutely fell in love with Game of Thrones, who binged it and who just couldn't get enough of it and who was really depressed to see it go, I'm loving this. No, I, I think this too. show is going crazy. I love the costumes in this, you guys. I feel yeah. like I feel like the costumes in this one, Game of Thrones had very important uh just saying how someone was relatively like how they're feeling, how whatever based off what they have on. And in this one, I think it's the same. Like Allison showing up to that wedding and just like showing her green color and all that. That was like that was insane. And I I can notice small things all over this, like the Beatles on those people's thing. That was in, it's insane. They're doing a good job making it clear. Mm -hmm. And I do think, you know, there's some differences. You know, they're obviously they went with a different color grade and stuff like that. But for the most part, man, I, I really think they're doing a good job capturing a lot of those elements that made Game of Thrones what it was, especially early on when it just came to like the long pauses, the facial expressions and stuff. And I'm just really into this, man. I, you know, I, to be honest with you guys, I really, really hope that uh that kid who's in line the one that's just crazy who's beating off on everybody mm -hmm. i just hope that man gets it together because i don't want to see him doing that again and right. i hope he outgrows that before the next episode yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one man like comment subscribe hit us up on patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reactions and we'll be back with episode seven and eight nine and ten and then we'll be live baby so let's go